out on the trail, we talk about having a heart at war versus having a heart at peace. I think when, when people first become familiar with that idea, with that, that language, they might think that having a heart at war means uh, some kind of conflict. Um, but that doesn't quite capture it. What we mean when we have a heart at war is that I have made some choices that go against my uh, values. The things that I hold to be true are in uh, conflict with my actions. And so my heart is in a state of war with itself. And that is manifest in a lot of different ways. And sometimes the way that it manifests is in interpersonal conflict, but not always. Sometimes the warfare that's going on inside of me is manifest in silent ways, but those silent ways are always communicated. It's impossible for me because when my heart is at war, I always blame someone else. When I, my heart is in a state of warfare within itself, I always blame someone else for that, right? So it's someone else's fault. And everything that I do or don't do or say or don't say, all of those things are communicated. That, that blame comes across. That's why we, that's what we respond to more than we respond to words that we say or things that we, we don't say. All of that um, is carried in those kind of communications.